Hello, welcome. Try this problem out. Pause the video, give it a shot, then press play and we'll solve it together. Alright, so uh, I think this is a good question. Uh, well, not only will we talk about the answer, but we'll go through all of the graphs so you understand how to read these uh, scary looking step functions. They're called step functions, sometimes called the greatest integer function. Um, so let's go through this. Morgan can start wrestling at age 5 in division 1. He remains in that division until his next odd birthday when he is required to move up to the next division level. Which graph correctly represents this information? So the answer is 1. Let's look at y. Notice we have this little break in the graph. This little squiggle means it's not the scale. On the y-axis we have divisions. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. On the x-axis we have the ages. Notice the odd ages are marked to help you because those are when you change divisions. He starts at five, right, divi at age five. If you look up in the graph, at that point, he's in division one. Then he turns six, but he still stays in the same division. Up until the very point, he turns seven. That's why there's a hollow point here. We don't include the graph at that point. We go through it at seven. He's up here in division two. That's his next odd birthday. You stay in that division until he turns nine. Then at nine, we go up to division three and so on and so forth. Division 4 when you're 11 and Division 5 when you're 13. And then you stay there until you're 15 and then I guess who knows what happens after that. Uh, here, uh, so choice 3 is not a function but also it's confusing because this would mean at age 7 he's in both Division 1 and Division 2 at the same time. <clears throat> maybe he wants to wrestle in both divisions, maybe this could happen, but that's not what really is happening here in the situation. And again, also it's not a function because you can't have the point 7, 1 and 7, 2 and represent a function. That means this input 7 has two different outputs, 1 and 2. Um, what would it mean to pick choice 2 down here? Well, this would mean when you're 5, you're not in any division. But after your birthday, you can join division 1. You stay in there. And then when you turn 7, you're still in division 1. But then after your 7th birthday, you join division 2, right? After your ninth birthday, you join Division 3. After your 11th, Division 4. And after your 13th, Division 5. I guess it's a little confusing. You have to wait until after your birthday. And not typically the way uh, things work. 4 is kind of funny, right? 4 is saying that on your birthdays are the only times you're not allowed to wrestle or be in a division. At 5, you're not allowed any, anywhere. At 7, you're not allowed to be in any division. And those empty dots are there. In between, though, you're okay. So in this situation right here, you're kind of punished at every birthday. Like on your 11th birthday, you can't be anywhere. Before and after your birthday, you'll be in different divisions. It's kind of confusing, right? In thir your 13th birthday, you have to stop wrestling. And after your 13th birthday, you're in Division 5. It's kind of a nonsensical situation, but that's what the graph represents. All right, hope this helped.